Mr. Kozak have came behind and um, Andrea and pulled up his gun and just started shooting. Taha Taha says he was working in the Coral Ridge Mall in June of 2015 and knew Andrea Farrington. He says he also knew the shooter as security guard and defendant Alexander Kozak. That's him right there. He's sitting in the middle between the two attorneys. Stay with us, Peter. Stay with us. The body camera of a Coralville police officer arriving on scene shows the aftermath of the shooting. Some chaos as police tried to determine how many people were injured and the location of the shooter. Dorian Potter, a former Army combat medic, was working in the pizza place in the mall. He says he ordered his employees into the walk-in cooler and then he went to try and help. I ran towards Mellow Mushroom and I didn't know where I was looking and then I ended up looking to the left towards the the weird welcome center thing that has the spinning thing up above it. And uh, I seen a girl laying on the ground and there was a puddle of blood. Potter immediately got to work trying to save Farrington's life. He was soon joined by a CNA who was in the mall working. Rudy Rodriguez was working at a store in the mall. He heard the shots and tried to usher people into his store for safety. He was approaching a man to try to lead him into the store when... I see handgun, see his face, look, you know, take a couple steps back. And I see the handgun again, look his face, step, cut, take a couple steps back. <laughs> and I stopped there, you know, and... Uh, what did you do? Well, I yelled out, you know, bro, what the... Are you doing? That man said to be Kozak eventually passed Rodriguez, but he was apparently the figure in black caught on mall security cameras racing through the mall after the shooting with an off-duty Johnson County Sheriff's deputy in a blue shirt in pursuit.